Hey everyone, welcome to question two associated with the ROC curve cutoffs video. As usual, I recommend you pause the video, attempt the question on your own, and then watch the remainder of the video to see whether you did it correctly. So in this case, you're evaluating the optimal cutoff for the diagnosis of immune thrombocytopenia, which leads to a decreased platelet count. A cutoff of 25,000 platelets leads to the sensitivity and specificity indicated by the SAR. Decreasing the cutoff to 10K would correspond with which point on the ROC curve, A or B? So this is a little bit tricky because typically the way we often think of cutoffs is a decrease in the cutoff does one thing and an increase in the cutoff always does an another thing. But as we've discussed multiple times, it's always thinking about is the cutoff becoming more or less extreme? For the vast majority of examples, a higher cutoff is a more extreme cutoff, but this is one of the examples in which a lower cutoff is actually more extreme because somebody with immune thrombocytopenia with a lower platelet count has more extreme disease. So there are really two, once you've kind of figured out that trick in the puzzle, there's really two ways of thinking through this. One is remembering that as you move, as you make a cutoff more extreme, we will be moving down and to the left along this ROC curve. So you would know that a cutoff of 10K must correspond to B. Or we could really think making the cutoff more extreme. Therefore, because the cutoff is more extreme, it is harder to get a positive result. So we have decreased false positives and it is easier to get a negative result. So we have an increase in false negatives. This would lead to an increase in specificity, which is denoted by moving to the left on the ROC curve because the X axis is one minus specificity. And the increased false negatives will lead to decreased sensitivity, which will correspond with moving down on the ROC curve because sensitivity is our Y axis. So we must move down and to the left. So this one is a little bit tricky, but I think it really highlights the importance of always putting things in a context of more or less extreme cutoffs rather than just higher cutoff versus lower cutoff. If you had trouble with this question, I recommend you rewatch the lectures associated with cutoffs and with ROC curves. As usual, please like, comment, subscribe, and good luck.